Okay, everybody, we're doing Mozart's Sonata K545. Uh, it's, it's called the easy sonata a lot of times, uh, but, you know, it's to me it's not that easy. <laughs> but here's the part one for it. common uh, Alberti bass in the left hand and that's a common uh, device that was used in the classical period uh, by Mozart and Haydn and Beethoven uh, even in Bo uh, Beethoven's romantic period <coughs> and it's just a da -da 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 -da. it's called Alberti bass and that's what we're going to use in the left hand so let's start with a uh, C and then up to a G on the thumb and down to an E and back up to G. Bop, 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 bop. So we do it two times. One, two. Now use your pedal very sparingly because in the classical period the pedal was not used or the pedal or the pianos didn't have a pedal or uh, it was something new that was being added to the, the pianos and uh, it was used very sparingly so don't uh, use too much pedal. Now on the right hand we have C above middle C and then up to E and then up to G. Okay? And I would learn it uh, maybe without any pedal first and then start to add a little bit here and there. But we're going to play together. Left, 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 and then right, and then left, and then together, and then just left. So, okay? And then here we're going to change our chord. We're going to have D, above middle C, up to a G, down to an F, back to a G. So, ba, 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 ba. And then we're going to go back to the C chord pattern. Okay, see the pattern. See all four notes there is a C, E, G chord. Right hand's going to have a B here. And then C, D, C. C, D, C. Bum, 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 bum. So here we have together, left, left, together, and just right, and then together, left, left, left. So that first phrase here in these two measures is... C up to A, down to F, back up to A, and then we're going to go back to a C, G, E, G chord, okay? Alright, right hand's going to have an A up here, down to a G, up to a high C. Hands together, you play together, left, 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 together, left, together, left. And we're going to have B, G, D, G in the left hand, so a G chord there, bop, 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 bop back to a C chord, C, G, E, G. In the right hand we're going to have a G, and we're going to have an F, and we're going to have a trill. What that means is you're going to take the F, and then you're going to trill it up to a G note, back and forth as fast as you can until it's time to play the C. E, F, E. So G, trill. Okay, bum, ba. If a trill is too difficult, just play the F until you can get it down. Left hand is, uh, we already did that. Together, left, and then together here on the trill. Left, E, F, together. So this is. Now here, we're going to start with a scale above middle C in the right hand. A, we're going to go all the way up. I put uh, a line here because we're going to go up to this high A. Okay, we're going to do a scale. All right, so we're going to go A. B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So play all the white notes all the way up to the high A. So A, A, and then come back down to a D, and then keep going to a G. Okay, so I didn't write every single letter there. You're just going to play a scale. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. So boom. Then we're going to do uh, G. We'll do the same thing. G, all the way up to a higher G. Come back down. C, B, A, G. Now we're down to an F. Scale up to an F. F on the pinky. B, and then Q. 
keep coming. I should have put a down line there. Play G F E scale. E down A D. We'll stop there. So we have A. Middle C and E together. No, I'm sorry, F and then F and middle C, middle C and E, C and E together, C and D, and then D and B together, and then a C octave, and then a low C and then the E tear together. Okay, so hands together, we play this together. And when you play that D, play the left hand. Play this together. play the C, play that. Play the F with that. Play that together. Together. Play this together. Now, let me see if I have enough time to finish this in one lesson. Yeah, I think I do. Alright, here we're going to have uh, D above C in the, on, the on the right hand. D all the way up to a D scale. It's a D scale, but the only difference is we're going to put a C sharp in there. E, F, G, A, B, C sharp. So play a C sharp in your scale. C sharp, e. Now this is going to be a scale again on this A, and keep the C sharp. We're going to go up to a G. A, B, C sharp, E, E, F, G. And then we're going to go up even higher to an A, B, C, and then come down. A, G, and then F, E, F, then up to A, then down to D, and then just a C. Alright, so whenever I have the little line, you play all the letters in between until you get to the next note that I've written. So D, C sharp, D, A, G, A, C, F, E, F, A, D, C. Alright? You'll have to work that out, okay? Practice it. F and A together, left. F, G, A, F sharp. There's so hands together. D, C sharp, D, G, and then together here. Together. Right hand together. Together. Okay? So that's the, you know, the first theme there of this sonata. Now, let me go back through it <laughs> slowly, so you can hear it all the way through slowly at a practice speed. Here. Now I'm going to go real slow here so you can pay attention. Here we go.